Hello, my name is Mari Elliott. I am a volunteer at the Mercy Health Palliative Care Unit in Albury. I would like to tell you how we turn corks into wheelchairs. Some time back, two representatives from the Motor Neurone Disease Association of Victoria came to the Mercy to educate us in the care of MND patients. Motor neurone disease is the name given to a group of diseases in which the nerve cells, neurons, controlling the muscles that enable us to move around, speak, breathe and swallow, fail to work normally. With no nerves to activate them, muscles gradually weaken and waste and paralysis occurs. The first sign may be difficulty in swallowing or speaking muscles twitching and tripping over for no apparent reason. MND affects each person differently in respect of initial symptoms, rate and pattern of progression and there are no remissions. Average survival time after diagnosis is one to five years. On average one person dies every day of MND in Australia. It affects nearly 1,200 Australians at any one time, about 250 in Victoria. The cause of MND is not known. What can we do to help? Recycle your corks. Don't put them in the rubbish bin. Save them for MND. Sorted corks are sold to a recycler for $2 per kilo. 234 corks equal 1 kilo, 500 kilos equal $1,000. 500 kilos by 234 corks equals 117,000 corks equals $1,000 which buys one manual wheelchair with accessories. The corks are made into a variety of products gaskets for engines and machinery, insides of cricket and hockey balls, notice boards and floor tiles, feature walls in energy efficient buildings, safety flooring, the bobbly type that helps people with impaired vision, and non-slip matting for swimming pools. Last year a network of over 1,000 volunteers across Victoria, including Albury, raised $25,483. Enough money to purchase 28 manual wheelchairs. This income is the equivalent of nearly 17 tonnes of corks from a declining world resource. All equipment is available to patients free of charge for as long as it is needed. This allows other monies raised by fundraising events, corporate supporters and people interested in MND to be directed towards valuable research in hope of a cure for this debilitating disease. Here in the Albury Wodonga district we have a network of volunteers collecting corks which they place in our collection bins generously donated by CleanAway. These collection points are located at Peard's Nursery, Albury, the Wodonga Plant Farm, Hewan Creek Road, Kangaroo Store, Bonegilla, the Mercy Health Palliative Care, Aged Concern, and various service clubs and some churches. Staff at CleanAway Services does a tremendous job as they sort through our city's waste and toss the corks into bags for us to collect. A family friend saw the need for a frame to hold the bag, so designed and made it for us, making our sorting much easier. The corks are collected, sorted, labelled and packaged into open weave bags, each weighing approximately 16 kilos before being transported to Melbourne. In the beginning, we drove the corks to Melbourne in our farm ute. 
After a call for help, a very generous offer was received from France's carrying company in Corowa to take them free of charge. This was very much appreciated. The cork collecting was initiated by the volunteers at the Mercy Health Palliative Care Unit after the visit by the educators from MND and has been in operation since 2002. Many families in our district have benefited from the equipment service made available with the funds from the cork collection. The most devastating news our family has ever had to face was when Stephen, aged 34, our youngest son, brother, husband and father, was diagnosed with motor neuron disease in 2003. The MND Association of Victoria's assistance and advice in so many ways was invaluable, especially in supplying an electric wheelchair. This gave Stephen some freedom and independence, like helping with the shopping, riding to school with the kids on their bikes, yarn to a neighbour, or just to go somewhere quiet to reflect. Collecting corks helped me to cope and in a very small way assist those who were affected by MND. Community support services are important to be involved in the early support to people living with MND to maintain maximum function and social interaction. There will always be a need for more equipment to service their needs. As more and more wineries move toward plastic and screw tops, our valuable resource is dwindling. The satisfaction of recycling a threatened resource makes the project worthwhile. So we are appealing to you. Please save your corks. We need them to help us turn them into wheelchairs for the terminally ill. The blue cornflower is the symbol of hope for people living with MND. Hope for finding the cause, hope for the development of treatments, and most importantly, a cure. The cornflower represents positive hope for the future, a future without MND.